Good morning, dear ones. Happy Sunday or any other day you're watching. So today I came to tell you another great story about Jesus. In this story, it's called Palm Sunday. Now you may wonder why Palm Sunday? Could it be Snow Sunday or Spring Sunday? No, it's Palm Sunday because there is a symbol we really think about when we talk and say that story is about Palm Sunday because it involves palm leaves. Yeah, that's right. So the story starts when Jesus w was with his disciples and they were going to go to Jerusalem. On the way there, before they got there, Jesus told two of his disciples and said, you two, go ahead and find me a donkey. And he said, a donkey? Yes, a donkey. And if anybody asks you, why do you need it? You say, the Lord needs it. So you're going to find it and bring it to me. Now one would ask, why a donkey and not a big, beautiful, powerful horse? Because Jesus was called the king of peace. So he was a king, but not a king that liked power and, you know, money. No, he was a king of peace because he liked things. They were simple. He was the king of love and friendship and being nice to others and help others. Like I said to you before, told so many stories of miracles of Jesus. So he thought that this would be a symbol that people would always remember, you know, because nobody thinks that a donkey is really powerful, but Jesus did. So stay tuned. Let's listen to our story. The story, the story of today is written in the book of Matthew 21st, verses 1 to 11. So as Jesus told the two disciples to go and get him a donkey, they kind of looked a little puzzled thinking, uh, okay, that's weird, but since Jesus asked us to do that, let's do it, right? So there was a large crowd that gathered into the city of Jerusalem. They were there for a festival called Passover. The crowd heard that Jesus was coming to the city too. The crowd took palm branches and went out to meet Jesus. They laid their coats down like a red carpet just for Jesus. And Jesus was riding on a peaceful donkey, not a war horse. The way Jesus came through the city was another reminder to following Jesus is a choice to do things different. So the crowd shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessings on the one who comes in the name of God. Blessings on the king. Jesus found a donkey and sat on it as he rode to Jerusalem. Jesus' friends, the disciples, they didn't understand what was happening. Why is Jesus being praised? They were really puzzled and wondered. The crowd continued to shout and praise Jesus. They wondered what miracles he would do next. The Pharisees were angry. The whole world is following him, they said to each other. But the crowd continued to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna, as they waved their branches. And Hosanna means save us. I wonder, what does it mean to ask Jesus to save us? So they were super, hyper happy that Jesus was coming in their town, riding on a donkey, just like he was. So I thought a cool activity you could do home since we not always can find palm tree branches, I came up with 
my own palms because those, your hands are also called your palms, right? So wouldn't it be fun? I can pretend Jesus is coming in town and I can wave my own palms. So all you need home is a piece of paper. I got this green paper, but you can choose any paper. You can get some white paper and color it if you want. And then what I need is a pencil and my own hands because I will trace my hands. Well, let me do it here. I'm gonna trace my left hand. Since I am, I write with my right hand, it's easier for me to trace my left hand. It's a little trickier to do my right one, but here we go. It's a cool exercise. If you, like me, write with your right hand, it's gonna be a little trickier. You really have to open up your hands in order to trace them. Ta-da! Now I am going to cut it, and then I used those chenille, those pipe cleaners, to make it like a tree where I can attach my hands, but you can have whatever you can attach, like a popsicle stick or something like that. So let's cut it and put it together to make our branches. So this one, now that I cut my two hands, my two hands, no, that I cut the two palms, this one, I just taped with tape on the chenille or pipe cleaner. And, but if you have, like I said, if you have a popsicle stick or even a branch that you can find outside, you can use whatever you find. Now, I did tape that one. Now I'm gonna try to use my stapler. Ah, it does work and it's also easy. So if you have a stapler at home, you can do that. And let me put another one here. Oops, one more. And ta-da, I have my palm leaves. So now I can tell the story of Palm Sunday and when all people invited Jesus to come in Jerusalem, Jerusalem like a king, which he was the king of peace.
justice leads to peace How we're different, but we're all family And now I'd like to invite you to pray with me. Today we shout Hosanna. It means save us. Sometimes we need your help, God. We turn to you when we need guidance or wisdom. Help us when we don't know which way to go. Guide us throughout this holy week as we learn and grow in faith. Amen. So get your palm branches and think about ways you can celebrate everything Jesus taught us and how can we celebrate all the teachings he taught us while here have a great week